I, yeah, I'm actually playing blue-eyed. I mean, I figured I would, right, at some point. I feel like I'm a little light on the card advantage. I'm gonna try to deduce. I think it's just gonna be worse than quick study in this deck, but we'll see. Maybe I just need to cut a sensor. Could maybe use another Teferi. Or another Deluge. Two Deluge, one Dig. Two Deduce. Tef, Surveil, Lands. All right, good enough. Yuma Japan or GPN. Let me tweet real quick. The greatest hand, but at I'll keep. Not a bad hand against Ragdos. Great on turn one. It's then you surveil land. Much better than a farmland here. That's for sure. Morning, everyone. Afternoon. Hey, my goose. Wow, look at that value. Imagine if I have a non tap land now. All right. The mute for a second while I dark my sandwich. Checklist updated. It's not necessarily what I think is best, <clears throat> but I'm trying out the new cards. I have a feeling the surveil land is <clears throat> going to be worse than farmland or other lands. And a direct comparison was farmland. I would say farmland more likely to be a better card, but we'll see. And then deduce. I think I'd rather be playing quick study. But once again, I could be wrong. No more lies confirm more than spell peers. Or an all. Being on the draw was to tap lands. I mean, I think I had to keep with the surveil. I had like three looks at a non tap land, and my hand was really good. Not sure what your point is. Yeah, I got a haircut this morning. As always, hair feels way too short. <laughs> Done eating. I can start drawing lands now. March would have been better than get lost. To march the the token, not let them like run away. It was extra mana and whatnot. Sorry. <gasps> oh my god! I didn't expect them to do nothing. Oh, I forgot to cycle moonlight. Oh, worked out, I guess. Well, still really bad, but not too punished. I guess I could moonlight. Uh, could moonlight the fable. Might be worth it, actually. I've got lost for something nasty. That was just next level play, as always. Or one was the girl when I said you yesterday don't this synthesizer. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure synthesizer is why you why you floor one. Sure it wasn't totally the worst card in your deck.
Was synthesizer actually good? Be honest. Was it better than Candy Trail? You stack it when you need action? Sounds sounds like someone who just drew really well and never got daggered by synthesizer being a brick. Yeah, I see Wolf. No, I agree your list looked good. I was just super skeptical about synthesizer. But maybe I'll give it a try. Alright, I have three verdicts in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> and I can jump. All right, that was an ideal. Stuff happens. I'm gonna try this card. See if it's. I've never been super impressed by Caracol against Ragdos, and I feel like Dream Trawler. People have like Edix and Liliana. It's kind of bad too. So not sure. Let's see. I'm not a huge fan of Get Lost or Hollow Moonlight. Probably have to keep some Get Lost. Gonna keep the card advantage in the counter, some lockdown. I think Kremlis Seed Shark's probably fine. Our set's probably not great. Do I want to get lost? There's some awkwardness with Shark lockdown verdict. Does an Edic still lose to. Yeah, I mean, to. to Two of it. I mean, two cards, potentially. Not bad. Don't want to be too weak to shield red. Maybe I'll do two verdicts to get lost. And then... Only two vetoes on the play. Alright, I mean, if I always draw it on turn one... Pretty good, especially if I get to ditch something bad. Otherwise, it's close. I don't think I care about their two drop that much, even if it's a bang buster. I'm just gonna bottom it. I'm just gonna graveyard it, even though it might look weird to bottom my turn two counter spell. Took Wandering Emperor. Just like one card closer to Dick Free Time, which I value a lot. I have no turn to play and they took uh, Wandering Emperor. I'd have maybe taken the deuce there if I was dumb. Mr. Lockheed, thanks for the 25 months, appreciate that. Welcome back. See, got plenty of counters. So I can no more lies, cycle that, and then sabotage, or I can just chill. Yeah, I guess this is good. 35 stream streak. I wonder if you're a streak leader right now. It's kind of nice. No more lies, did you? All right, did you playing out pretty nicely this game? I mean, quick study would have been solid as well, but. Mari's the the deduce lockdown synergy is not going to be great. Nice curve. I get to sabotage dig here. Hey, classy.
Uh, does it matter? Second greatest after whom? Wapo, you. All right, on the draw, I think I want all the vetoes and maybe third verdict. Maybe Chrome C chart just doesn't line up well enough. Maybe I'll just do get lost in verdict. No, I know you never seriously say you guys teasing. All right, let's do that. Kind of take offense in someone saying Waffle is better than me, but it's fine. Title to your opinion. Croxa is helping me out. Can't say their draws have been the best. Like even game game one, if I had like on tap one on two for their fable, or just any on tap land, probably would have been easy. I'm right, gonna veto that. Try and protect my dig. I guess I shouldn't let them give them a choice, and I don't think I can draw a card that's <coughs> better than Dig. I don't like where this game's going, though. Them filling up their graveyard, Croxa chilling. Alright, that was huge. It's not cycle sensor. I mean, I could draw a log down, which would be pretty good. That's some really good draws. Should be enough. I mean, even if they have edicts. Okay, easy game. The combo, yeah, so good. Counter, exile, minus one for Croxa. Oh, you tap two to draw a card? Oh, I'll draw a card and untap two. No big deal. Really, it's no big deal. All right, don't have much to do with that. Uh, with that on tap mana. I think this Wandering Emperor probably seals it. That verdict, just death. I got lost this trash. Maybe it was Hall in play. Mm. You would have kept what, Makis? Second Tef or? Hello. Jeez. You do what I did? Mm. Even was Hall in play? Feels kind of sketch was Hall in play. I'm not sure why I didn't make it two two there, but get lost. I mean, maybe that crocs I know. All right. It was mostly their draws not being like good enough, but 
Normalized, obviously, over make disappear was good, meaningful. Archive I had on turn one, all three games, I think, and I think I surveilled all three times. Even though, to be fair, the card I surveilled I could have maybe kept, especially in game two and three, not in game one. Uh, what else? Ned, did you... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if did use makes sense or not compared to a card like Quick Study. All right, archive looking. Oh, uh, was this hand probably better than a farmland? If I had farmland in hand, I mean, I've been lucky. I've literally had one in my opening hand every game and never do another one, so it's been kind of gas. So it's gonna be good against everyone. If I had farmland in hand, I probably would have played Deserted Beach on turn one and kind of see, especially with this hand. Are they playing Giganta? Are they playing Heroic? Just Burn deck. My youngest pays 150 when she has her hair colored. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty stock. I think I'm gonna pay like haircut color 120 euros or something. I think it's the same price here. It's pretty expensive. Really expensive, but it's like several, it's like two hours plus. Yeah, Convoke, good call. Yeah, it's really good against Convoke. So if I counter this, they can't play a four drop, a five drop. I guess I'll let them have it. I'm just kind of worried about the extra body. I want them to play five drop there, yeah. So people are saying like cut Ornithopter for novice, but I think what people are doing is they're just cutting Thalia for novice. That seems to be the the replacement. I mean, I'm worried my normalize just not going to be countering anything next turn, and they've attacked. Yeah, I'll just use my spell. I don't gotta do anything anymore. They should have maybe played pre combat. Puts me in a tougher spot if they do that. Unless they want me to counter it. Why would he not play pre combat? That's probably loose. Okay. Hopefully they don't have a payoff. I think my Wandering Emperor can hold their entire board. That plus stuff. Just making a 2-2, two -two. making a bunch of 2-2s. Two they don't play removal, right? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Do I play Teth? Should have played Hallowed Fountain. That was bad. Whoops, played too fast. All right, I'll just say go. I think it's better than playing Tef here. Oh, Resolute, wow. Six, eight, down to one. Thought I could have, I thought I caught a break there. Huh? wish it was Absorb. Well, maybe not. Maybe that card will end up being better than Absorb. I'm going to have to tap minus a 1 1 token. I will. That's pretty good. Oh, are they supposed to plus? Oh, 
A little late, but I'll take it. I'll just minus. I don't want to lose to like resolute reinforcement or two to haste. You think they play helix? No, zero percent, right? Oh wow, it's the Kenzan. They're attacking me down to one. Put me oh. They're attacking me down to one to put me in Epicure range. Seems smart. Did I spew one damage at this point in this game? Never. Looks like they top deck something that's lethal. Oh no, it's just Jags. Just Yagi bombs. No more lies. I still die to Epicure. Oh, they were dead. Right. Duh. Oops. Well, I guess at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dumb. It's autopiloted. Well, I guess in this case, I should just cast Delush, try and find another No More Lie. No More Lie Wandering Emperor, nice. Classic meme, win the game or draw 25 cards. All right, never punished. I like how they're not scooping. <laughs> they're like, well, it looks like you missed it last turn. So maybe he'll miss it this turn. All right, of lockdown is good. What did they get in this matchup? Probably not much. Just any blocker is good. What's bad? Farewell is expensive. Dig's probably expensive. Vito's pretty bad, right? I have Moonlight that works against Gleeful. The deuce was locked down, seems pretty bad. No, I try, I try to improve a little every day, you know, Makis. I haven't given up. Maybe Dig's better than Deluge. Alright, let's try this. Tapping my mana in an efficient way. I've been doing that for a while now. Several months. I don't have Lockdown. I do have good mana. And a Verdict. I mean, I could be dead on their turn four. Doesn't seem very reasonable to mulligan that hand, but maybe it's a mull in the matchup. I could draw a two. Oh, let's keep. I could draw a two man interactive spell. I can cycle shark on two, gets me to, takes me a bit to a lockdown. Maybe the matchup's good enough that you just small, just because they just can't be the lockdown. Is Ezreal better than Dream Trawler? Probably not. It's just new card tax. You think it's better? How how I have you played? Just what they get? Epicure and Thalia. Better or worse than a far land? Kind of better, I guess. But it's gonna matter. Maybe that's why you don't mulligan, because you still lose to their not draws. At least you don't mulligan into oblivion when they have a mid hand. Yeah. I mean that's why you play the deck, right? Sometimes you do that. 
Vito becomes a bit better on the play. Because it actually counters Gleeful sometimes. Shark Soul is slow. Maybe I'll do one Vito. Shark might be better than Tef. Yeah, it does board out all the Tef, even though they won me. Uh... What does Vito counter? It's literally only Gleeful. Anything else? Two Vitos for four Gleeful. Also, they're just not going to. New Anthem, I mean, they could be. In Wedding, second spell. Wedding? Do they have Wedding? I feel like we're just making that up. All right. Calling out Alan on that one. Let's see. Keep Keeping my, my chatters honest. Is it not in the top 15 decks? This went quite well at some point. It's like arguably the best deck for like a little bit. Two wedding announcements. Okay. We're up to a good start. Two wedding announcements. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the, what the good players play. Oh, Invasion of Gobakan too. Assemble the players. All right, I don't know about often, but some of the time. All right, let's have some vetoes in. A couple of vetoes is good. All right, Alan, you passed. No, you're 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 fine. That's that's knowledge. No, I mean, you know. Also, it's just interesting to just find out. Double Ornithopter, go. No. Yeah, I imagine people being scared of me. Like he's just laughing. Just counter it. Or get it lost in lockdown, blah, blah, blah. Lockdown, no lockdown even gets enchantments. Let's not fall behind for no reason and wonder where it all went wrong. You're scared of Darkest Mage. He has a way of destroying people that are wrong that is kind of funny to me and scary at the same time. Yeah, I could see that. I have one ring emperor on top. I mean, it's not very good against lockdown. I think maybe I just cycle in response. Yeah, sure, I got fixed. They fixed it, like... Five hours later, maybe? Six, seven hours later? But it took Wandering Emperor. I guess they can't really beat it. Just Verdict, right? Oh, verdict or lockdown, actually. Maybe just lockdown. It gets invasion. Gets the one two. It's kind of gas if they have get lost for it, then they get to go look at my verdict or something. All right, let's see if they can get lucky. Why, to hit two? So 
solid. Don't think they were favored there. That's, they're going to have four cards in hand. My cards are a little more impactful. It is nice that I have lockdown, uh, get lost in lockdown combo. They don't know about the second lockdown. All right. This worked out nicely. We're down to like almost no cards now. I should have cycle maybe made a one one. Try and let at least have a tap land on top or something. Also, I debated not cycling sensor. What this card does? Pff, nothing. Don't worry about it. Apparently, it's really hard to cast. Five, five, flying. Investigate twice. And then for one, I can sack an artifact and it gains my choice of Vigilance, Life Flinks, or Hexproof until end of turn. Better than a Dream Trawler here. Since I'm just literally stuck on five. Arguably worse than a Teferi. Should be good enough. I can't imagine I'm ever losing this game. It would need like Gleeful Bushwhacker is the best it can do, and that's not even that like enough. Ah, I don't know what they need to have here. I was winning this even if it was an Emrakul. Yeah, I mean I was in pretty good shape either way. It was just a card I have in hand. And a wandering emperor as soon as I hit six lands. Weda. It's the family name of one of my best friends, Katsu Weda. Is Blue Eye Control finally back to tier one? Probably. If it looked like it was back to tier one even before No More Lives, and No More Lives did an obvious improvement on Make Disappear. How am I in the Exile Zone? They got it was Invasion of Gabakan. Mana Leak, it's a better Mana Leak. And the ability is super relevant in Pioneer. Crocs out Phoenix. You're encountering maybe a Grease Fang. Sometimes they play cards to reanimate it. Good chomp here, but... I think I'm going to rush to chomp. Make this spear utterly better in the mirror. Ah, there's no way. Okay. True. My card's pretty good. It's pretty underwhelming. You just run out of artifacts pretty fast. Could get lost my shark token. I think I'm just going to say go and just sag the clues to draw. Much worse than Regal Caracal, I guess, here. I don't know about much worse. I don't know, good enough. Inconclusive. Oh, it doesn't gain indestructible. Vigilance, Lifeling, or Hexproof. I should have definitely, like, get lost my shark and started cycling on the... Uh, five life. Is five life worth the cards? Probably. I 
I read too much Twitter. What? What does this have to do with reading Twitter? All right, Ezra is unplayable. I'm off it. Change that a detail, how they added indestructible at some point, or did they? <clears throat> I'm kind of uh, in a rough spot here if they drew something good. <clears throat> I might actually lose this game. Hmm. A little surprised they played that way. Feels like they messed up. We'll see. I don't think I'm getting baited, but maybe. I think they should have just played that pre and put me in the bind. I don't know. To be fair, I kind of blew it with Ezrim and get lost. I have killed my own shark, get my Ezreum to a 6-6. Six, six. Or at least hit some lands, I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's a lot of counters. So I can get lost a token. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Am I supposed to minus two on Inspector? Does that make sense? Probably not. Need the sweeper. I need something. Did inside the clue token? Alright, getting to use my veto here is kind of nice. And I can double no more lies the recruiter. That's huge. That buys myself a turn of like them doing anything. Like no, they don't have a good attack. And they probably still have to send everything on Wandering Emperor. I feel like they could have played that better, but obviously they didn't get to see my hands. Yeah. Everything I'm wandering Emperor, so it dies no matter what. So I get to just eat a couple creatures for what on quote free. And that's Gotta be game now. Emperor bug. Yeah. Yeah, attacking with a shark is so bad there. Just let him to know I have something good in hand. Really loose. I think I just block in Wandering Emperor here and don't worry about a counter. Oh wait, I have seven mana. Never mind. Okay, now attacking was fine. Well, attacking is still bad. Because attacking lets them know I drew something. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. Keep saying it doesn't matter, and game is still going. <laughs> I used to be a little anti-castle in this deck, but I am playing a 
Les Deluge and Shark Typhoons than I used to too, so maybe it's okay. I'd rather counter it than use Get Lost. I guess Night Errant is all scary. Is there a scary card than Assembly? Yeah, maybe I should save counter for Night Errant. <clears throat> Seven. Okay. Thing to play here is just double block the Night Token. Everything at. Nah, maybe not. Mm. I really, really don't want to give the maps. But, okay, saving Wandering Emperor seems worth it. I'm gonna kill both so they don't have something to map on right away. It might sensor. I don't have a lot of cards that do anything I can draw. Let's keep Moonlight. Sometimes I don't cry here because most of my good cards cost more than free. But it also means I get to like more likely to draw something that does something. I can hold on to it. That game went on for a while, honestly. Because I drew pretty well, and my draw lined up well, and we still, like, were able to uh, keep up. They're popping off, but not our Inspector. Draw. <laughs> inspector. Map token. Going infinite over there. Locks it on. All right, surely. Surely this sends the game. Let's see, Shark. Just for you, chat. Just for you, the suboptimal plays. Might actually not be suboptimal. Let's not attack with Chrome Host. You never know what these Bushwhacker decks can do to you or Recruiter. As Recruiter's bad to have Moonlight. Hardcast locks it on. What's the play here address this? All right. Not a 2 1 win. Pretty good hand against Phoenix. I have get lost for Shredder, log down for Shredder. And then Moonlight is one of my most important cards. No hard cast. No hard cast for the fans. Weak. No more lies. Let's go. Probably try and save it to counter Phoenix. I'll see. Maybe I'll have to counter something else first. Maybe I have to cycle here. As good as that Moonlight is. I'll hold on to it for a turn. 
kind of want to let them have it. You might even have spell peers. Well, yeah, you can play old foils with uh, the pass, the all access pass. The one free body is annoying down the line, too. I do have a verdict for them, though. Two Phoenix iteration in the yards. Not bad. Easy counter. Well, I guess I'm bad if you think it easy and I didn't counter. It's always funny when someone says easy something and I do the opposite. I actually kind of want to counter that. I think it's too bad when I have so many answers in hand to it. Maybe it's fine. He has to. He wants to cast Treasure Cruise. One, two, three, four, five. So weird. I mean, that No More Lies is not going to be good forever. All right. I'm just going to counter the Shredder here. He doesn't have the greatest treasure cruise. He would have to exile one Phoenix. All right. Better than farmland, kind of. Maybe. I won lands, and I also don't want lands. Um... I'm not a phoenix. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Man, we got lost so bad in these spots. I wish I'd kept the land. Oh, never mind. That works. All right, somehow archives just being pretty solid for me. Maybe dig for time is the difference. That's the theory that I'd make dig better. I think I'm in a pretty reasonable spot now. I'm gonna take a bit of damage, but I think I'm wandering emperor there. I need to keep Hollow Moonlight Mana up. Just really hoping he goes for it now. So I don't have to keep two mana up the entire game anymore. Dude, is he playing around? Is he just playing around Hallowed Moonlight? Might he playing around Veto too? Hmm. I'll let him treasure cruise, I guess. Yeah, sure. Gotta start somewhere. Good lockdown. I could just let my Wandering Emperor go. If I log down, I potentially tap out. Feels like. Hmm. Oh, he still has iteration in hand. That's scary. I'll just say go. I think the only way I lose if. If he had like spell pierce for my moonlight, if I tab down too low. I just plus because I don't think the 2-2 two -two is valuable. Just rather save the 2 damage. Shredder. I should maybe dig in response. So he doesn't get the loot. No way, why? You're worried about time walk? Easy dig? It's always easy. Let them double cruise. Sure. Is that four Phoenix in the yard? No. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, tilt. 
Dude, do I not have the end stab? That's twice today. I think I'm fine if they counter dig, yeah. I, I was fine if they counter dig. Ah, oh, man, so frustrating. It might cost me the game. Now they can go land. Well, now I guess I have to play one. Never, never mind. I have to play one more spell for the Phoenixes. I was going to say they can go land and then have Iteration plus Spell Pierce for my Moonlight, but they need to play a third spell for Phoenix. He might not. He might keep playing around Moonlight. I don't think he's been playing around Moonlight. I think he just drew the Treasure Cruise now. Anyone dancing in the moonlight? Could have Devil Pierce, I guess. That'd be unfortunate. Don't tell. Yeah, I mean, not casting that dig was so bad for me. I think I cast it, right? Oh, disruption. Mm. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, three phoenixes in exile. I guess seven cards in hand. Ottawa. Yeah, I know. Other one, I'm a little soft to haul right now. I mean, I've get lost, but also just one Phoenix might be enough this game if she finds it fast enough. I think that's fine. I think like free to fade treasure cruise. Equally good. Maybe not. The hall's looking kind of scary. Not guessing to dig that one turn. Screwing me over a bit. Oh, auto war in the bin. Don't have to worry about it. He did get a spell pierce though. Time off might just get me. I think maybe I just get lost a shredder. Because we know what's spell pierce. No. For smart command, two damage. Draw two, discard two. Seems like a good one to counter. I think I'm going to lose. I need field of run. Okay. That's good. I mean, to be fair, I have seen a third of my cards. Seems fair. Seems fair to me. I might still lose to time lock here. Probably just lose still. Premium Shuffler. I don't think I drew that well. Yeah. And Galos was so anus.
Yeah, I wonder how much that one dig turn cost me. Might have cost me the game. I ended up with a bunch of cards I couldn't cast. That was kind of frustrating. The chief? Is the chief any good? Yeah. I think I just board out Gelos and log down and keep in the verdicts. What else do I board out in this matchup? There's like nothing you really want to board out. Farewell Tef can kind of go. Made dig goes. He could have his own reversals and spad was rest in peace. Wandering's not so good. Yeah, I agree. Nice against Crackling Drake. Reversal is not the greatest. It's not super easy to to get his rest his treasure cruise. Sabotage is a little expensive. Yeah, sabotage can go. Could try this. I think maybe it's too many counters. I guess I don't have that many counters, do I? I think horror is good. Not hundred percent sure, but. Close one. I mean, there's a world where I draw land, 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 and, and I want to save my Ganjo. Seems kind of unlikely. Eh? Young Pyro. Fine. Have it appeals to have a playable counter spell for two mana. Always had. Always had it. He has a removal spell. All right, Chief. You can lightning at flash friending volley. A rare doom switch misstep. No way. Could almost keep land there. Not that far off Hallbreak or Horror, but gotta assume spells is good and lands is still good. All part of the plan, probably. John Star, Hyper Jom, Hyper Jom himself. Surveillance are sick. Yeah, they've been good for me so far. Surprisingly good. Which counter to use? I think maybe Veto. Keep the cheap ones. Narset's reversal, I'm worried I'm just gonna brick. And no more life counters, Hardcast Phoenix. And Dispute counters, Drake for one mana. Or Sahili. Like using Vito was smart. This is why Teferi is still good because when they don't drop perfect, you, you do get to punish them in some spots. Just play Teferi here and the game kind of ends, but. It's like some of the times they get to keep mana up and Teferi is bad and stuff, but. Especially when you have disputes and more cheap interaction, it's not as easy for them to just kind of have it. 
I'll, I'll go ahead and think what I did was smart. I mean, you know, call myself out when I think my plays don't work out. And... May plus is bad against Hardcast Phoenix. Doubt anything matters at this point. Four Phoenixes in the yard. Okay, he has Fable in his deck. He's playing the Young Pyromancer, Fable, Cracking Drake. I like that split. I like like one, or, I think I, I would like one or two Pyromancer, two Fable, and two Crackling Drake, something like that. A plus if we're getting another 2 2. Not too sure, honestly. So I can attack my 4 4 and 2 2 for Shredder, obviously. Duh. I don't know, it just felt right for some reason. That's two Phoenix in the yards and six cards in hand. Never know. I think that reversal probably means I'm safe. Yeah, I mean that reversal is just even if he has negate, I get to uh get to bounce the shredder. Return target and long land permanent, yes. Is he countering his own, uh, I guess we're about to find out. Is he countering his own crews? Probably, right? Yeah. Well, if I draw seven lands in a row, he probably wins. Or if he had had a Phoenix there. Could have like killed my Wandering Emperor and kept the Chum Block here. Oh, hello. Bonjour. Well, any spell to be fair is game, but still had all these. All right, so Fable, Fable, Young Pyro, eh? Lockdown Wandering Emperor consideration. Horror was good this game. More eight seven man eyes. It was good because he stalled on lands a bit. Lockdown Rip is awkward. Just rely on Verdict. Rip Verdict is good combo usually. Not bad. Weak to Shredder. Week to Shredder, week to Young Pyro, but most of my opening hands are going to be Evola. I don't think I can afford to keep that. Could be good in a low resource game with rest in peace and whatnot. It lets me keep Iganjo, which is relevant. Actually, I like it. That lets me save one life next turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. If this was planes, I think I would just bin it, but since it's like Ganjo, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, Fredder is annoying. Don't wanna play Rip, because if he plays like another threat, I just lose, especially if it's Fable. All right, I'm gonna let him have free to fay. No free to fay. I don't think auto war is super good. Hey, Weeb. Hello, everyone. 
I'm gonna get godlike. Is he gonna have Fable Dispute? And he gets to trigger Shredder. I think just take it. Try to not see monsters in the closet. Maybe just stack kill that Moonlight. Okay. Oh. Hmm. That's always good for him. And he got to ditch his Fireblock Canal. Not ideal. Might be time for rest in peace, though. Before things get too crazy. What is their hand if they're not cantripping? I feel like treasure cruise or a little flooded. I don't know. Could be trying to set up. I'm going to use my spells. A shredder might be a problem, but about. And these charts, disruption. Too good. They are a bit better than. Uh, I will say. Just a bit better than. Um, Spike Field Hazard in Smash Up. As Phoenix versus Wood before this set. Really close, somewhat somewhat build dependent. Probably Phoenix favored. Like in general, I think the Phoenix player had the edge. Keeping that planes didn't really work out. It's kind of flooding. That's good that he didn't discard a spell on Shredder. Hopefully it means he's flooded. Lightning Axe discarding Consider. Okay, Verdict would be nice. I don't know what the play is here. Well, I guess I'm not just jumping the 2 2. <clears throat> um, I think that's take 5, go down to 7. I, I, I think I, I kind of meant to. Uh, he just find a verdict. That's that kind of a close spot. Can't really say for sure what I was supposed to do. That's old gamblish, maybe. Sideboard plans bad against verdict. Hmm. Yeah, somewhat. You have to fable for... They can just play like a decent control game against you. Thinking maybe I should just Wandering Emperor now and make a 2-2. Not give them another look at a negate. It's obviously worse if they have negate because they get an extra one one to attack me with, but 
He bottomed. Yeah, they could play Sahili. That's a little better against Verdict, but... So multiple charge destruction, so I doubt he has spike field hazard. Oh, I have Castle Arden Veil too. What? You sold a Castle Arden Veil for $440 last week? What's that story about? Well, I guess that Angel finally came in handy. You just make one ones here? Nah. Uh, it's crying more fun. Why not let him hit you an Emperor Exile? What? I don't know what you're saying. I wanna just what? I wanna save my emperor for crackling Drake. I'm only worried about not only, but mostly worried about crackling Drake at this point. So I wanna save my wandering emperor if things in case things go wrong. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, also I just have rest in peace in play. All right, close one. Oh no. Am I just gonna get ran over? I guess I'll keep in the dark. I could look them up. A lot of the aggro decks play Giganta, right? This hand's probably fine against someone who doesn't reveal a companion. Oh, they're, they're the Grease Fang player? Stug Grease Fang just forrowed the first prelim. Pin two. Main decking a bunch of Wither Bloom commands. Moonlight just goaded. Arley, let's see. Arley was in farmlands. Huh. Burning's just fine in this matchup, right? I think I just have to keep Verdict. All right, no, uh, no Grizzly Salvage. They'll play Auto War. -O. They play Lily sometimes. The five with this morning was a copy of the new Kaya that has 200 words. Live Bible bump. Rev the fish. <laughs> Thanks for the six months. Appreciate it. Did anyone see the Slime Against Humanity deck? Someone o 3 or o 2 to prelame with a Slime Against Humanity deck. That's kind of gas. I don't think they play Planes, right? They were playing Lost Legacy. They were playing Elves. Their combo was Elves, the Tutor that exiles 13, Lost Legacy, and 25 Slimes. So I think they need to go, they need to go turn to tutor, they're not right, like turn to tutor and then play a slime and then lost legacy themselves. Do they play planes usually? All right, I'm going to, I'm going to try hard here. Rushi underscore zero zero. They don't have planes in their deck. I should just field of rune. Swamp planes. Okay, they actually do have planes. All right. I 
How do they win? No, just a big slime, yeah. Obviously bad if they go land chariots. But we know they just drew that, so we know they don't have another one. Good let it resolve. So they find planes and then what? You're gonna find a the planes, they're gonna play an informant. Probably gonna have to counter said informant. Maybe I get to Field of Rune. Well, make this appear. Look at how bad Normalize is here. If only it was a make this appear. We could mill their planes and get really unlucky. That would be gas. All right, I'm going to let them have salvage. I hope it's not a huge mistake. Maybe it's just playing way too scared. What'd they get? Takenuma? Still no white man. All right, let's not fix them then. Man, they were kind of screwed. Oh, well, maybe not. That's Sentinel. Depends which what what the order was. Now they have a thingy in the yard. Land, land for the win. No, not like this. Uh. I think I'm still fine. Didn't specify. Yeah. All right, surely that one I counter. I mean, I think they just drew that card, right? I don't think they can have Grease Fang. All right, I'm going to not be a coward. Because I don't think it makes sense for them to have drawn... Anything but salvage there. I guess they could have drawn salvage last turn. Okay, they might have bitter triumph, but I guess that's okay. Or is it not okay? Bitter triumph, discard Parhelion. I still have no more lies for Grease Fang. I'll try and let them tap out. Yeah, I'll say go one time, actually. They play Bitter Triumph now, right? All of them. Free me out. I think Sango is good here, actually. Because then I get to go Counter plus Dig, or Cycle plus Dig. If they do nothing. What do you think of No More Lies on the Chariot Day? This way it was exiled? Oh, I didn't even consider it. I don't hate it. I don't need land. Get lost is always nice in this matchup. I don't think I want a second verdict. I don't think I want another no more lies either. I think I'll just take a sensor. Cycle. Try and find a veto maybe. Ooh. I'd be worth giving them white mana at this point. I'm gonna find their white mana anyways. So Let's get them off green. If they're playing the same list they've been playing. Ooh. Hello. All right, it's time. Most grease, no, I think almost every grease fang list has two basics now. I mean, you kind of have to just counter that, right? If they have land grease fang, does it even kill? 
It doesn't even kill, right? Just four damage. They might have another one. Which I guess is fine. All right, they're down to four cards. No Parhelion in hand, apparently, though. That's not great for me. Well, I guess it's good and bad at the same time. So I could strip them so that my sensor counters more stuff. But a lot of their lands are fast lands. What do they have? Two Blooming March. I guess it's not that many, actually. Mm, could have cycle in response, I guess. I would say one Anchorage would kind of be insane here. Let's hold on to Sensor for one turn. It is hard for Anchorage to be good against everyone playing a bunch of fail push. One sure. Just love it, just holding on. Turn 12, turn 11. Holding on to, to that sensor. Diamond hands over there, or over here. Ooh, farewell. Gecko Shark. Farewell your graveyard. I'll let them at their graveyard. They don't even have a... It's not an addiction. He can cycle it anytime. <laughs> yeah. Totally. I don't know what you've done to deserve multiple hard shark hard cast typhoons in one day, but I guess you've been good. My chat always behaves. All right, I could wait still have double shark. Yeah, but let's not. Let's not time out the 4 out. that'd be sad. Freeland, I Field of Runes. I, I drew all three Field of Runes. I stripped them twice with Field of Rune. To be fair. The open trying to time me out. Uh, that's the only logical explanation, yeah. Whoa! Forgot to ferry, now I'm just trying to save a few seconds.
Kind of stinks to board out dig against a thought sees the red stack. Lock down not the greatest. You usually play Wetter Bloom Command too for rest in peace. Not their list apparently, but oh not F2 in the main. Do you think Kling is better than Rip? Um, what if, if Kling was a white card, would I play Kling? I, 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 I'm, I do have an addiction, so I would probably just play Kling, but let me think about it. Is the C chart good in this matchup? For the grindy games, 2-4 flying. Doesn't line up very well against Bang Buster and one knot. Seems hard. I think maybe more Shark Typhoon is good. Ezrem seems like it could be fine too. 5-5 five, five Flying lines up good against their cards. Could try Ezrem. Or I could just do more Sharks. Sharks good against this card. And they're like random beatdowns too. Or they played one copy of Intrude the Mine. Is that the five mana cards? Why is he playing it at end though? Seems pretty terrible in blue lights, isn't it? Like just infinitely worse than a memory deluge. I didn't realize I was playing ugly basics. Interesting they took rest in peace when they had turned to Bangbuster. I would think they would care less about rest in peace if they have a Bangbuster draw and care more about my Planeswalker. I'm gonna cycle now. I think it's better because I have all these lands that come into play tapped. I think it just plays out better than trying to get value out of a 1 1 cycling to block. Also, I could just draw. Oh. Save to life, have Veto Man up. I'm in a pretty terrible spot. Odd season to Bangbuster into Sentinel. I mean, it's their best draw. So I could try and do Emperor Plus into Verdict. Into Verdict, make a 2 2. Then I have to chomp. It buys me a bit of time. Could just verdict now, obviously. Might just be better. Yeah, I guess I just have to verdict. Need plane pass. I don't think I'm accomplishing much by doing that. It was no, it's pretty standard. Pretty standard Grease Fang deck. Sentinel's just Really good card, fits their mid-range planes, fits their sideboard plans, fits just just really, really good card. I wonder what their sideboard plan is. Do you think they just board out all the Parhelions? Alright, so what does it do? Never one or more creatures you control and or creature cards in your gear guard on put into exile. You may choose a creature card from among them. Until end of turn, target token you control becomes... Okay, so not much. Plus two, surveil two, then exile a card from a graveyard. Plus one, create a white... So 
So what happened there? Oh, like maps still can become thingy. So they plus two surveilled. The exile, they're free for, and they got an extra map for free. It's basically what happened. Dude, I hate that Gala Shrine just looks like a damnation. So weird. I'll play my split card, Gala Shrine Damnation. <laughs> You got get so many wins because people just don't know what Kaya does, even when they've read it like five times. Guess I'll let them see my hand and take the damage, right? Force them to, well, not force them, but. Wait, did that make sense? That made no sense. I'm letting them see my hand for two damage. Oh. All right, chats. <sighs> I did not take. Yeah, that was really not great, but okay. Dad has adopted the aggro mindset, yeah. Surveil to. What does the minus two do? Exile target creature you control for each other player, exile up to one. Okay, so nothing. Okay, so the Exile Rafine turn map, but there's no common to play, right? Oh, but they get to attack. They would have summoning sickness. Sentinel. Probably just graveyard that. Are you on the graveyard sentinel there? All right, Rip to Fairy. I mean, that kind of doesn't seem like it's doing much like, right? It's like any, any four mana Planeswalker would have been really good for them. Hallowed Moonlight, Hallowed Moonlight, Hallowed Moonlight, Hallowed Moonlight. Oh, maybe I should have, like, kept Moonlight for a turn. I forgot they had Vessel in play. Insect the Vessel, because they want to draw that Sentinel. I just want to counter that Sentinel. I'll verdict it away. Hey, Canister, I guess you're done. Thanks for the raids. Easy for you on. What are you playing in Pioneer? I didn't see, actually. I mean, if I counter it, they get to like plus two, surveil, exile sentinel, turn map token in a free four attack. But now they potentially get to do both and crew bang buster. Such a headache. Not sure how I get out of this mess. Their draw is just too good. Three one in modern. Didn't he go two two? Thought he was one two in modern this morning. Hey Kenny. All right, they still have Parhelion in their deck, and they brought in Silence. They're still trying to combo, which I'm not sure they should. Honestly, they're doing just fine without the combo. Yeah, and the map token keeps the plus one plus one counters and stuff. We're playing the use over quick study because it's a new card. It's called the new card tax. All right, chat. I need farewell.
Farewell or bust. Show. Farewell, top card, easy. Naya exiling Grist. Yeah, you even get a Grist was flying. Betrayal. Maybe I'm not tilted or angry because I'm free and up a game. Heard that helps. Oh, I'll just board out my... I mean, if they have Parheen in their deck, I shouldn't board out Rest in Peace. Rest, is, rest in Peace kind of works against Kaya, right? They don't become exiled. Kaya sell plus ones. Makes tokens, but it's not too scary. Well, it's fine, but... Get zero loyalty, Planeswalker, and die instantly. But why does it work with Squadron? Is it the same thing? All right, I'll be right back. Bang Buster. Bang Buster wins games against... Uh... Bang Buster on the play wins games against Blue Eyes, noted. That one makes me want to board out the Verdicts. Board out Verdicts, bring it, bring in Shark. Maybe a Lockdown's not the worst. Maybe just Ezram. Logged on C chart kind of mid. What the hell? Oh, I clicked game details. What happened there? Side wearing like that means that if they ever grease fang a parhelion, I just lose, but I think I'm fine with that. Uh And mulling in this matchup's bad, but it's all rough. Alright, just get rid of get lost. Dab damnation, go. New rules chat. You get to uh you get to play your spells as lands. No more mana screen magic. I was gonna counter that so I can curve curve into seed shark. Not let them set up. They might also be a little mana screwed. Hmm, speaking of we know they have plain forests. We know they would not play, they would play other lands first. I could go after that brush land and give myself two blue. Don't feel like that siege shark's doing much for me. Yeah, maybe that's just better. Uh oh, char it in the yard. Danger, danger. No land. No land, no land. I kind of still like seeing go. This bang buster is not that bad for me. 
I guess I rip. Then I can see shark without fearing too much. Could be bad. Might be better. I'm just trying to do sabotage into deluge. This is like the higher upside. I don't even know. Tough matchup. Mostly just man is screwing them this match. No. Can't win. Land. I guess I'm also mana screwed and I'm mulligans. Not like I'm running the greatest eater. Just take four, I think, and then get lost in of turn. They might have bitter triumph here. Not sure what I'm supposed to do about it though. No bitter triumph. No grizzly salvage. Okay, maybe their hand is just super awkward. Well, now they do have Grizzly Salvage. Do I care? I don't think so. Got themselves Pathway Sentinel. Took Black Green Pathway. Just gonna veto that and turn my incubator token or delusion get a four for token. If I counter that, they get to use their mana to do something else. I think maybe delusion is just better here. <clears throat> Let them have all the cards. I think I need to make some land drops badly. Wither Bloom Command. Rest in peace. Drain me for two. I want to say that's fine. I think that's my that's my turn to kind of out tempo them. Deluge, fine on tap land. At a four four, have sabotage man up. Counter flip and gone the insane. Offensive what? I'll have a two two. A bunch of two twos against four threes and four fours. It's fine. Go on the offensive. No, I need I need that four four kind of badly. I need some lands. Well, so now my deluge is in the yard. Deserted beach and shark typhoon's pretty bad here. Could take archive. I have Archive into Ezrim. Could keep the Moonlight as insurance. She am the 5 5 and pray. That's awful. That sounds absolutely awful. Kind of like keep the Archive. I guess 1 1 Shark's not that bad. Okay, I'll just keep the Shark, but I don't know if that's right. Yeah, I should have mm, punished. Instantly punished. Don't forget if you subscribe to the to this to the channel, you don't get ads anymore. You can also turbo to not get ads on any stream forever. That's fine, right? They're dirtling. 
Might be the wrong time. Oh yeah, right. I should wait. Like I get to pick which one. Okay, for you. For you, a free free will do. I know. Imagine not subscribing to the stream. Good Ezrim here. Don't seem that great though. Mm. Actually, doesn't seem that bad. What else am I gonna do? Veto something, make a 4 4. No, this rim's pretty good. This rim seems decent here. As rim looking worse than a dream trawler. Better than a caracal, though, I think, both times. Lands. Nice. The GG land. The GG courtyard. Despair. <laughs> I mean, they had to, I guess. Just kidding. I'm going to draw a card. Okay, let's the play here. Just try and kill them. Dude, Ezra's so bad. I'm at five. I don't even want to spend the mana. This attack was both. Imagine if it was a Bane Slayer. I don't know. Might have just died to Bitter Triumph, but yeah. Clock, I know, I know, I know. Go lifelink? Hmm, nah. I would if it was free. It costs one mana. You know what? The Hexproof should cost one mana. The Vigilance and Lifelink should just be free. Reese Fang. I guess not paying for the village vigilance looking really dumb right now. Just block and chomp, maybe. Yeah, just block and double block. I'm not sure blocking that bang buster made any sense whatsoever. That was so bad. I should have, eh, I guess my 2 2 lives. No, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, lethal in the air if you block free four with shark. Yeah, but I'm just worried about bitter triumph. Oh no, maybe it's just 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 bad. Linker. Uh, I'm going to time out.
<laughs> so what can they do? They can crew, crew and crew. Six. I guess they never had bitter triumph. <laughs> Could have won that game easily. <laughs> Lock it in. Ran the gauntlet. Why did we beat? The genius of Gabriel and the Sea. Phoenix, Greasefang, Ragnar Smith, and Boros Convoke. Yatta! Who the fuck is that guy? Thanks, 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 Thanks